saved it and came back and it had run the end turn. So let's see what we get here. Still haven't found a good video editing software, sadly. So Spending total, which is good. That means I have a solid defense. Let's see, construction wise, what's going on here? Da, 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 da. Mm, got a lot of stuff going on with construction.
person resupply. system all told. Especially once I get the other colonization types. That system does not look like a very good one. Although, that planet is going to be useful. Simple turn. I think it's actually kind of fun to do in here is you can develop a species or a race, an empire, if you will, that is, to all intents and purposes, the Borg from Star Trek. Uh, you can create the Empire or the Rebellion from Star Wars. Uh, just not you know, the same shape. Yes, I am, I am talking about the possibility of building even planet-destroying class vessels. It's possible to do that. It's possible to do that and have them be mistaken for small moons. resources. It's unpleasant. It, I realize that it's a resupply base and everything, but it's going to also be... Let's see... At 20... At 2,000 per... 
20 is 40,000 storage. So 25 is 50. There we go. It's going to take him a while to build all of those. can run out, but they can always go through and just sit for several turns and regenerate their supply supplies up, so worst comes to worst, I can always move them to a system that's got you know, sun and they just upgrade for good time. Okay. So how about relief? They're doing some more exploring. system with a resupply base, they'll basically stay topped up, which is good. Alright, level 4 sensors, level 3 temporal weapons. Yay, very good, very good. Some upgrades, and the E wish to alt. 
So, or has movement left, it hasn't, doesn't have any orders. It did not automatically resupply. The reason being is that this particular planet does not actually have those types of facilities yet. Not a big deal. We go through and manually resupply. Alright, now. positives across the board. Yay. Don't know why I throw a thumbs up, you can't see it. Okay, research. Uh, sensors. Ah, there we are. Sensors, temporal sensors at five. Okay, good. Nine turns away. Whatever. Uh, two years away for my next set of temporal weapons. That's actually a Search set just the way it is. Because I need my weapon systems to obviously increase over time. And I need the other systems to basically increase as well. Alrighty, so this one will be getting stuff specifically, as will all three of these. Search, we checked everything else. Time to end the turn. Oh, processing that in turn. It's really a good thing if you can find and get and or make a keystone system. A system that you can get and just create a, either a fleet or a couple of stations and stick them on top of a world and that makes it defensively so that anybody who comes through that has to go through and, you know, uh, nothing here. Okay, 
so that anybody who comes through that warp point has to then face your ships if they happen to be hostile. Now, if you have it like the Devungar system, it's almost a keystone. So, you know, Helidus and Scythe both come in here, and then it goes into our deeper zones. If it wasn't for the fact that Scythe does not actually have, or Scythe actually has exit into Deneb and Dolphin, the Vongar system would count as a keystone system. Because I could put, I could put some stations here, and I could put some stations here, and then anybody who's coming in would immediately face those stations and probably get destroyed, because stations are awesome. decline like that, we don't actually lose our existing treaty, so they just don't change the treaty that already exists. Which is fine. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get these guys set up so that they can do the promotion. Let's see, he's already got four there, so this is a good line to have. That would be Star systems are nifty. They very rarely have any good planets. The game ain't perfect about you know, designing star systems, but it does follow some rules of astrophysics. Older stars typically don't have.
space yards, which would be a good idea. Or do I want them on, actually? Yeah, let's just put them on the ion engines. There we go. And after. Processing after all player turns. anything in this trinary star system. Part of me is like, and <laughs> probably not. But I have found some things in, some, in those sometimes. So, we'll see. If nothing else, it's practically free exploration. He gets six hexes worth of movement out of his, uh... Alright. New research labs and facilities and centers. I'm gonna have to go through and upgrade them again. I'm just gonna be the first thing I do. Upgrade facilities. So they're building the correct queues. Yay. Okay. Some of them are going to be able to finish them quickly, some of them not so much. Okay. Research. Alright, my shield's research. I'm just going to stop here. That's stopped. I'm going to dump it all into. I want CT engines, honestly, I really do. Contratarian engines are very nice, and they're the next technological level. Alright, so... Let's see, we got anybody else who can move? No? Okie dokie. Let's take a look again at my cues here. I am burning through an awful lot of that, but it's only for three turns. The worst of it is, anyway. So, yeah. And I've got more than enough to handle for that. End of turn. Processing after all player turns. Nice. Let's see what we get. size too. planets in here, but let's see, Halt 3, Halt 4, there are probably precisely four planets in this system.
star system. I'm really not expecting to see any other planets. So we might find some asteroids or something, which would be cool. just the older technologies, it's, it's worth it for now. For now. Makes sense. Okay, so, bunch of construction, no technologies. I did forget to do one thing earlier. Because I had a new ship type. My light explorer type 3. Upgraded. Because we have new technologies available. We have new weapon technologies. We have new sensor technologies. All sorts of sensor technologies. Now to six sectors. Ooh. Shield regenerator, 100 kilotons. That's half the freaking ship. It's just too big for right now. Could get some more armor plating. That's 50 kilotons worth of damage. That's 100 points basically between the two of them. Or I can get some massive armor and it gets a little bit less, but it also reduces all damage by two points per weapon hit. structure reduces damage by two. That's from all weapons. But most weapons don't do just two damage, unfortunately. So that's an option. I could go with an armor plate. Or I could go with a missile armor plate. Now if I really had some moxie I'd be able to do that, but I can't do that just yet. Because I've only got six times. you obsolete something as, as long as you don't have any uh, existing copies of it after a certain period of time, it just falls off. And you can go back and rename ships back to the original name, so you don't end up with Mark, like, 72s or something. The computer's not that smart. It will go up to Mark 72s if you let it. Okay, so good shield. range, but 
got some better shields now. Seventy range, better range, uses less space, and slightly more damage. Still does quad damage to shields. So, not bad overall. I'm going to make this an obsolete model. There we go. right into the center. Once he's done with that, go ahead and order him to Mar Hawkman. Where he will retrofit. Which is a oof, expensive retrofit. Hopefully it'll actually be able to pull it off. If it's more than 50% of the original of the well, the cost of the ship that you know you're trying to retrofit, it won't do it. It's attempting to build a new ship from scratch. Yeah. Silly, but you know, that's what happens. If so, I won't be able to upgrade these, but that's okay. Ion engines, sensors are going to be three turns out. Um, which is good. Minerals, the extraction systems will be. Next video. Obviously, all of this is next video. Let's see, where do we sit here? Okay, we're definitely starting to dominate in terms of intelligence. But that's okay. That's kind of cool. Construction wise, boy, am I glad these are finishing. to 33%, yay, and up to 38% with them, we're definitely trading a lot, alright, we are even more firmly, well, no, we're not as firmly at first, we're only uh, a little over 3 million ahead of third place, actually. Still looks like we're doing high middle areas of resource gathering. The research points were finally starting to catch up again. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, we are number one in intelligence points. Doesn't mean we're we have to stop we can stop you know increasing our intelligence points. We just are number one for right now. Tech levels. Holy smokes. The Planets uh, top three, but number of planets doesn't well it makes a huge difference, but not too big of a deal. Population. We are definitely starting to get ahead. Uh, the humans? <laughs> well, geez. Didn't realize they gave us that many of them. We still only have 
two ships. Both of our frigates. No units. But we're firmly in number one spot. Now, if we'd stop exploring or doing something like that, we will definitely start falling back on that one, but that's fine. Let's see, resources. Right in there. This is we're running a deficit. That's why we're on a downward spiral right there. Let's see, research. Mostly happy. We got a couple of indifference, but that's fine. Let's see. No, nope, they're definitely not giving up a good birth rate. So we'll probably have to start developing medical facilities of a better class just to get these reproduction rates up. Good, we have these. Plans. 